All right, yeah, this is Louis C.K. Animals Racist. Very funny. This just keeps coming up. I don't really know what on earth this is about, but yeah. Let's go. Here's a joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because there was a black guy walking behind him. And he was, he was nervous. He was new to the city, this chicken. And he was like, I feel like he's following me, but I'm not sure. So then he thought, maybe if I cross the road, then if he crossed the road, he's definitely following me. So he crossed the road, and the black guy went home. He's living his life. And the chicken was like, I'm such a racist. And he felt, he felt bad. About a month later, a black guy ate the chicken. A uh, different black guy. I'm just telling you what happened. <laughs> By the way, don't be upset, because this is not a racist joke. This joke is not racist. The chicken was racist. <laughs> the chicken was definitely racist. But that's chickens. <laughs> chickens are very closed down and suspicious and prejudiced. You kind of can't blame them, considering that their species murder rate is 100%. <laughs> That's why chickens are like... <laughs> There's no friendly chickens. You can feed the same chicken every day. He's like, get the... I'm not coming over there, you black son of a bitch. I know what you want. Chickens are like that. I used to feed chickens every morning. And they're not friendly. Some of them will come over to you. But then there was only one, Ninja, who literally used to jump on fucking kick you. That's why it was called... Ninja he used to jump through the air and kick you like in the knee or in the top of your legs. It was shit. But yeah, they are vicious. I don't know where the thing chicken comes from. When they cut themselves, you have to spray them with purple spray to cover up the blood because if the other chickens see the blood, they'll peck it to death. And the second that any of the chickens notice a weakness in any of the chickens, they will isolate it to the point that it gets weak and then kill it. It's crazy. But yeah, let's go. I'm not in your soup yet, you Jew! <laughs> I like animals. I like thinking about animals. I like wondering what animals are thinking. Nobody knows what any animal thinks. You can ask an animal any <clears throat> question and the conversation is over. I wonder if, if giraffes, do giraffes, are giraffes up there going, whoa? <laughs> <laughs> You're a giraffe. Yeah, but look at my neck! <laughs> <laughs> That's why horses make that noise. If you ever near a horse and he goes, <laughs> it's because you suck. <laughs> Does a moose look different when it's surprised? You ever see a moose? They always have this. <laughs> I saw a moose once in person, or in moose. <laughs> Projecting, because I was like, oh my god, it's a moose. And he looked like he was going, oh my god, I'm a moose. <laughs> Every moose looks like a dude who just got turned into a moose right before you looked at him. <laughs> I'm thinking of buying a goat. I'm thinking of buying a goat because I want to have a trash can that I can make love to. So that's, that's why I'm going to buy a goat. So I can have sex with a trash can. I can do that with a trash can I have now, but a goat has a vagina. That makes it a lot <laughs> better. I don't care that you're upset. I don't care that you're upset. I'm still getting the goat. I love doing this. This is my favorite thing to do with stand-up comedy. I've been doing this for 32 years now. And it's been... 32 years. And it's been going great for four years. <laughs> years it's been great 28 years I struggled but you know what I was happy then too I was always happy when I was struggling because when your life sucks it just sucks and you don't expect anything else but when your life gets good you start expecting it too so you get unhappy this is what happens like now I stay in five-star hotels and I'm miserable 
I used to stay in motels. Like, mo not even nice motels, but like with a name like Motel 6. I stayed in just, like, motel. <laughs> not even a name. Like, they built it, and one guy's like, what should we name it? And the other guy's like, what? <laughs> Last time you took a dump, did you name it? <laughs> you know those motels that are right on the highway, you drive by, and you're like, who's inside of that? <laughs> right on the highway. Like, literally, you open the door in a truck. And when you, there's a little shower, and as soon as you get in the shower, you're dirtier now. <laughs> they give you a little soap, and you have to peel off the paper, and then it just makes a rash. <laughs> you can write your name in a skin disease with the soap. And there's always two beds, and one bed has a big pool of sperm, right? I, I don't know what. Big, deep pool with a current. <laughs> tide, tide in the sperm pool. Watch the boats. I stayed in places like that for years. I was perfectly happy. Because what are you going to do, complain at a motel? What are you going to call the front desk at a motel? I want to speak to the manager. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Somebody duct taped him to a chair and shot him. Because he owed them $15. <laughs> now I stay in, in beautiful five-star hotels, and I'm miserable. I'm always upset. First of all, I don't like them. I'm not used to it, so I don't like the fanciness. I don't like that they tie your bathrobe into a swan that you have to dismantle. <laughs> and I don't like that when you call room service, they have to say a long, flowery hello before you get to talk about food. This is how they answer the phone in room service, a fancy hotel, like, hello, <laughs> I never let them. I call down, they're like, hello, stop, 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 bacon, eggs, and coffee, don't read it back. <laughs> I'm mean. <laughs> I'll stay. Also, if you stay in fancy hotels, you get used to it, so you start getting upset when things aren't perfect. Like one time, my laundry wasn't there. I had laundry, I was waiting for it, so I called housekeeping. Now, they don't answer the phone all fancy at housekeeping. This is how she answered the phone. She goes, hello? <laughs> And I actually said this story. I said, do you want to try that again? <laughs> yes, I'm letting you know about me. That's what I said. <laughs> Did I reach you on your personal phone today? <laughs> so she says, what do you need, sir? And I said, well, I don't have my laundry. And I gave it to you. She said, you didn't give it to me. I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. Because <laughs> I get to be really mad. I said, I gave it to your department, and I was promised. Like, it's in the Constitution that you get your laundry. <laughs> I was promised I'd have it in 24 hours, and it's been longer. She said, what do you want me to do about it? So I got really mad. I said, listen, ma'am, first of all, you can hear in my voice that I'm white. <laughs> By the way, I'll defend that right now. I will defend that. Because, look, it's wrong that white people get preferential treatment. It's wrong. But as long as they do, what's going on at this hotel? <laughs> I'm supposed to get the best because I'm white, which is awful and wrong. <laughs> but where is it right now? <laughs> so she got sick of me, and she says, do you want to speak to a manager? I said, yes. So the manager comes on. Hello, nice speaking. <laughs> I said, I'm very upset. He was like, oh. I'm so white. Sorry, white sir. I didn't, what white happened today? I said, I don't have my laundry. He was like, oh, ah! <laughs> He said, I will conduct an investigation. I was like, yes! That's a very white thing to do. I want a white investigation. My laundry! So he said, I'll call you back in five minutes or less. Hmm. So I'm waiting in my room like, <laughs> and the manager calls me back and he says, sir, I looked into the matter and I do need to ask you one question. Are you certain that you gave us laundry? And as soon as he said it, I was like, I did not give you. <laughs> Genius, Louis C.K. is so good. I need to start doing more of his. I was that as well funny. And that literally just popped up. Racist. I don't really know what it had to do with animals 
racist, really. I suppose the first bit. But yeah, no, I thought that was well funny. I do think Louis CK is well funny, to be fair, no. He is a genius. But anyway, yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet.